This is Twit. <laughs> Dick and I are bobbing our heads along. <laughs> Leo Laporte, the tech guy. It's time for Disco Dick D. Bartolo, Mad Magazine's maddest writer and our gizmo wizard. Hello, Dickie D. How are you doing, pal? I am so well. How are you? I I am good, yeah. and I owe you a thank you. Oh, you're welcome for what? Okay, so last week I said, Leo, I only have a hardwire Wi-Fi in my back apartment, and I want wireless. What do I do? And you said, well, buy the uh, access point from TP-Link. Oh, yes. Leo, I bought that, uh, and then I realized when I had it that my one hard wire in the back, if it goes into that, then I don't have hard wire. So I also bought a T, uh, TP-Link 5-port gigabit uh, switch. Little yeah, yeah, switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hooked that into that. Hooked my uh, hard wire from the Disneyland into the that and then into the access point. And how's that working? And, it's worth, Leo. Do you know how much a Wi-Fi extender it cost? How much? Twenty-five dollars. I know they're cheap because it's not doing anything. <laughs> Just a little oh. radio. Well, it's doing something. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, I didn't even. This uh, one looks I really cool. I've never seen a tennis quite that for big. That yeah. Yes. Yeah. I splurged for that because for eighteen bucks. Yes. I I could have got one with only two antennas. Oh, go for the three. Yes. And, and I thought I need that now. It came with something I had no idea what it was, and then Chad told me what it was. A P.O.E. box. Oh, very important. You gotta have oh. a P.O.E. box. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Are you gonna say what it is? Or? Power over Ethernet. I have power over an Ethernet in my uh, whole house. Uh, so all my switches, you don't plug them into the wall, they're getting power from the Ethernet. Of course, you have to have a switch that sends power over the Ethernet, but yeah, that's a nice way. Then you don't have to plug it in. It just works. Yeah, and that's free in the box. That it come. That, it came with a PoE injector. It, yes, that's for twenty five bucks. Yes, and the five gigabyte, the five port gigabyte. Uh, TP Link is pretty inexpensive, but you know what's funny? Yeah. They're good. They're good gear. I I like them. I recommend them a lot. Yeah. So I. What's I that you the, got there? The uh, this is the PoE device. Oh, that's the injector. Yes. Yeah. So you okay, plug so that into the wall, and then it puts power over your Ethernet, so you don't have to plug in some other device into the wall. Yeah. It, it, that is really great. So the three things, uh, and I just needed one Wi-Fi cable. I spent forty nine dollars. And you're and I is it good? Is it working? You getting... the, it's working great. Oh, I'm so happy. It's working well. You yeah. know, I don't know what great is for wireless, um, <laughs> because here here in the studio, I have three hundred and fifty down nice. and twenty four up. Is that wired or Wi-Fi? That that's wired. Yeah. Okay. In the back, using this 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 TP device, I have sixty down and twenty two. That's up. pretty bad, but you're oh, happy. It is, it is pretty bad. Well, okay. wireless usually is about half, thereabouts half the speed of wired, because there's overhead. Okay. Might be a little bit more, sixty percent. Okay. You're not getting quite as much, but you know what? Sixty's pl plenty, right? All I need it for is when I'm using my laptop in the back. So you're happy. Apartment. And I want to yeah. watch maybe uh, a YouTube video or yeah. something. Yeah, that's no, plenty I'm for very, that. I'm very happy. Yeah. And, and I just wanted to thank you and say that. <laughs> and, and it became it, it your gadget so of the week. Yeah. And, and the thing is, I never knew what you called that thing. <laughs> I kept I kept reading, take an old router. Yeah, you could do it with that too. Yeah. Yeah, but then it said change the address and, it's a little and I don't want to move. I yeah. don't want to move just yeah. to change my address. No, you don't want to move. No, that's good. In fact, there's a link to it on uh, Dick's website if you want to find out what he did and how he did it and what he. I can't believe it's in, that inexpensive. That's really great. That's a great price. All of that. That's because it's not doing any routing. It's really just a little radio receiver and transmitter. So it's good. That's good. Even. Yeah. With three antennas, it looks good. It. I like the. Uh, my non techy friends. My non techy friends come in and go. Whoa! What is that with the three it looks lights? Looks cool. The yeah. This should play. Uh, oh, that would be great. <laughs> that would be alien great. technology. Dick's that website has. Not only this, but everything he ever mentions on our shows, they're all there at uh, gizwiz.biz, G-I-Z-W-I-Z dot B-I-Z. 
Just click the big blue button that says the Gizwiz visits the tech guy, and you'll see all of that stuff there. But it's not the only thing on the website. Of course not. He does other shows. So when he appears on ABC's World News Now, you'll find links to the gadgets. He shows a lot more gadgets on that show. He's got more time, I guess. <laughs> or you move more quickly. Oh, no. What are you kidding? <laughs> ABC has gotten so ridiculous. You got two minutes for 40 gadgets. Hurry. Oh, yes. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Uh, there, there is no wider gap be than between podcasting I know. and network We're television. We're leisurely. We're leisurely. Yes. 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 You can talk about something. Even the radio is more leisurely. When I used to do Live with Regis and Kelly, uh, Gelman would always say, I'm sure he used to do it before me. I'm sure he yeah. did the same thing to you. So bring, a, bring 100 devices. <laughs> Yes. Okay. And then the day before he'd go through them and go, no, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. And then the, and then he'd say, and make sure you put Regis's album on all of the pod iPods. Did he do that to yes. you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I think uh, I think that was single handedly you and I accounted for ninety percent of the sales of Regis's yes, album. Absolutely. <laughs> and when I did the first back to school, my my segment producer called and said Michael said nothing too techy yeah. because Regis won't understand it. He doesn't. <laughs> the Didn't. night before the show, he said HP has a new computer. Try to get one there by tomorrow. I said you said don't use. They said, well Michael wants to see this computer in person. But this is Gelman, the executive producer. I, I imagine he's still at the show. He still is. Yeah, I know Marianne, our producer, is, is retired. But when Gelman, oh, okay. Gelman goes on and on and on, Regis is retired uh, in yes, more yes, ways than yeah. one. And, and the big the big, the big, big retirement. But Kelly's still going strong. She Was Kelly there? Or, no, you were with... Uh, no, with uh, Kathy Lee. Kathy Lee. Okay, yeah. yeah. I got to work with Kelly. I think you did she's both Kelly of them, right? No, I never worked with uh, Kathy Lee, no. But oh, Regis okay. and Kelly. And then Regis announced he was going to retire on a show I was on, and everybody was flabbergasted. And uh, and I, I did a couple more with uh, his replacements, various replacements, but I, I missed Regis, so I stopped doing it. Yeah. But he the was point was, they would ask for 100 gadgets, and then you'd show four, because you'd only have a minute. <laughs> it was like yes, and then yes. and Kelman had a little a little sign, a little whiteboard that he'd write "move on" on it, and then he'd tap it and go tap 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 <laughs> tap 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 move on tap 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 tap. That was fun. I loved doing that. I really yeah. did. That no, was good. It so was good. I've I don't never think seen there's any a, a move on sign in the podcast. No, no. Although occasionally we do need to move on, like now. But no, if you okay, go to gizwiz.biz, you can also play the "What the heck is it" game. No, we're not moving that fast a uh, chance to identify a close-up of a gizmo or gadget and win an autographed copy of mad magazine and of course dick has lots of other stuff on the website dick's blog and log gizmos ahoy for his boat gadgets gizwiz garb edge and mad collectibles and match game collectibles too there's lots of fun stuff on there so uh gizwiz.biz dickie d have a wonderful week you too, buddy. See you next week. I'll be here. Oh, you better. Who, who's going who's gonna to tell me the crappy gadget of the week? <laughs>